I believe in what you would be fighting for. Andy Garcia and Eva Longoria fight for religious freedom in For Greater Glory. It is prohibited to say Mass Padre Robles. Haven't you heard? What's important is that, that the story, for me, that it was told because it was sort of a bit taboo and sort of swept under the rug for many years. What Garcia is referring to is one of the darker periods in modern Mexico's history, the ruling atheist government of the 1920s effectively trying to stomp out all religion in the country in the name of progress, shuttering churches and plundering religious artifacts, leaving thousands of devout Christians and Catholics unable to legally practice their faith. What do you want me to do? You know, I think traditionally it's the kind of movie that sort of like older Hollywood made. We'll fight with lightning attacks. Left with no options, Garcia's Enrique Grostieta Velarde and an army of priests turned freedom fighters named the Cristeros mounted an armed rebellion to forcibly take back their right to worship. The uprising lasted three years and cost some 58,000 lives. The Cristeros ultimately won, but as the years passed, national pride pushed the event into the shadows where it was seemingly destined to be forgotten were it not for the film. At the red carpet premiere in Beverly Hills Thursday night, co-star Eva Longoria and director Dean Wright talked about the importance of bringing this piece of history to the big screen. This is a movie that kind of really needed to be told because nobody really knew about this, this happening. Yeah, you know, I didn't even know that this had happened in Mexico, in Mexico's history, this fight for religious freedom, and they were at the forefront. Mexico was at the forefront of a lot of uh, a lot of things. They they ended slavery long before the United States did. Um, they were petitioning for religious freedom. Um, and, and so, you know, I love historical fiction, so I'm glad that this movie is able to reflect uh, uh, accurately what, what had passed in the 1930s. You cannot fight for something you don't believe in. I believe in freedom. The subject matter of this film, given that it was based on such a serious event in history, there was a lot of pressure to get this right. Yeah, I mean, when you have something like this that dealt with a real event in history with real people who, in many cases, have suffered for decades and decades because their stories weren't allowed to be told, to now be able to show it to the world is a huge responsibility to get it right. Hide? Would I hide from God? Please, Father. For Greater Glory also features veteran English actor Peter O'Toole, playing a man of the cloth and a cast most U.S. audiences might not recognize. Garcia says audiences needn't look at the film as an abject history lesson or a religious experience. Let them down. I mean, you know, you don't have to be Mexican or Catholic or anything to enjoy the movie, you know. Uh, it's just like, you know, it's like the old, uh, it's like I, I'm not English or a patient, but I went to see the English patient, you know. <laughs> you must remember that men will fire bullets. But God decides where they land! Shot at various historic locations in western Mexico, the film's production was partially funded by the Knights of Columbus, whose members played an active role in the actual rebellion almost 90 years ago. It's also receiving strong praise from the Catholic Church. Dozens of nuns were on hand to see the film at the premiere. For Greater Glory is now playing in limited release at theaters nationwide. In Los Angeles, Scott Edwards, CBSNews.com.